obviously this is a super controversial subject. I, uh, the, the reason that I think about this is because if you followed me for some time, you know that I feel guilty when I eat too much. And this isn't just for overweight people. This is for anybody with a high BMI. You might know that uh, weightlifters, bodybuilders, they have high BMI. You're being wasteful. We're living in a time where the world is, you know, politically correctness and cancel culture and all of this stuff. Why aren't we canceling people who are being wasteful? Like the biggest problem if humans want to survive in this world is we have we have food issues. We have food supply issues. And shouldn't we be shouldn't we be shaming people for eating too much and consuming too much and being so wasteful? These protein powders are unnecessary. There's been many scientific studies that show that we get enough protein in the food that we eat. Obviously, humans are getting enough. Like, I don't know. I think it's all over the world right now in larger metropolises that we're eating more processed food. Also, the processing. The processing of the food. The more processed foods you eat, you have to feel guilty about eating those products because you're using up more resources. The more processed the food, the more um, resources that go into it, the more energy that goes into making it, the more packaging, the more all of that stuff. Why aren't we shaming people who consume those items? I mean, it's all of us. I'm the reason I think about this and because I'm a, I'm a binger I have to admit I and I feel guilty when I'm eating I'm eating way more calories than I need to so like what I'm th what I'm thinking is should we be looking at people who are emaciated and saying oh good for them because they're not they're not wasting now I'm not talking about eating dis the, the only place where I am talking about eating disorders and body um, disorders in this subject is the bodybuilders and this need this brainwashing that's going on right now with protein powder and you need extra protein and everyone needs more protein and more protein I don't I I listen to podcasts and hear people talk I don't remember the names of these studies and scientific studies but I'm also going on common sense here uh, it is proven that we get enough nutrients I mean, I don't have to even say it again. Obviously, when you look at the people around us, mostly in America, I hate to say it, they're getting more than enough nutrients. There's, it's, it's obvious, it's right in front of us. We see that everybody's well-fed. And I'm a really judgmental person, and that's something that I am working on. Uh, or am I? Or maybe I'm going to embrace it more and just be this judgy, alone person because uh, people's values, they're, they're, ob they're disgusting me. Uh, it's, it's, nobody cares about anybody else but themselves. I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's where I'm coming from. You know, you see in other people the reflection of what you want. I want to, I want to be a positive person. I want to say positive things. But when it's just something like it's it's something that I've been thinking about for a long long time, me being guilty. It it just popped into my head that what if if all of these little people are going around shaming everyone for I'm gonna go back to the pronoun thing oh, oh, why are you caring about your pronouns there's bigger issues this the world is imploding on itself it can't sustain the amount of stuff that's going on here we're all being so greedy and selfish and I'm guilty of being greedy and selfish and consuming too much <laughs> from the wrong places for the wrong reasons. But luckily, what I've taught myself, I guess the reason why I'm not overweight is because I do binge healthy, unprocessed foods. I have 
it's kind of it's kind of like music. Uh, when I grew up, I lived in this isolated place. There's only a few television stations, only a few radio stations. So you only get the mass majority of what's available. So it's it's like bubblegum, candy, music. That's all I had. But when I you know grew up, moved to the big cities, uh, broadened my horizons, I I found. Uh, more thoughtful stuff more music that was more like a music music snob music uh, movie snob movies and then the other stuff became the the bubblegum music i mean there's still there's still room for pop music and happy music and some of it is better than others but there's some stuff that is it's that I enjoyed before, but it's it's just it's not good. It's not good in comparison. There's no substance to it. And the same thing is with food. I think that if you do explore more and you go outside your spoiled little chicken nuggets and I don't know craft dinner. What do they call macaroni and cheese in the U.S.? I don't think they have. I think craft dinner is a Canadian thing. I don't think they call it there. Anyway, that is macaroni and cheese, craft macaroni and cheese in a box. It, when you step outside those things and you explore different fruits and vegetables and stuff, you probably will learn to like them. Now, I'm on a budget now, and I buy just mostly potatoes. I, apples were on sale last week and I bought a lot of apples. I haven't had apples in a long time. That was kind of awesome for me. I was surprised at how f filling they were. And we can turn to, we can turn to things that aren't mass produced as as nutrients but we do we should i think cut back on the things that we're eating we're we're definitely being too greedy now you can look at you can look around and look at the people and say i mean shaming is a negative thing obviously but i people are showing themselves and I'm, it's this isn't a lazy thing i know lots of people who are on the heftier side that aren't lazy i've actually worked with some uh some company in my past some protein companies um fitness companies fitness influencers like uh like bodybuilders extreme bodybuilders and i knew that they actually didn't have energy they're wasting they're taking in all of this protein they're eating all of this food and but all they do is they work out and then they just lay around all day and they're not even it would make sense if you were building your muscles for a reason to to do something to get some if you worked in construction perhaps but actually you would build enough muscles while you were doing your job so you wouldn't have to actually go to the gym for these vain practices over consume food that we don't have enough to feed the rest of the world we should be shaming anybody with high bmis uh like i know i i realize that uh people who are overweight it's coming from a place of comfort and trying to you know live in this world and that's that's the other thing about what what my channel here is about it's about uh not trying to be somebody else not trying to just being comfortable with yourself and being being true to yourself and not putting all of the new world stresses that's if, if there's a message that i want to get across in this world it's that that none of the all of the stuff is made up and all of these stresses uh, and 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 trying to be better and have more 
I mean, it's coming from somewhere. It's coming from some kind of animal instinct. But we don't have to keep up with the Joneses. There's there's enough. There's enough of for us to be satisfied. It really is about finding passion. I do know that I'm do when I'm doing things that I'm interested in, that all of the other problems of the world go away. It's not until you turn to social media and think about what everyone what everyone else is doing what everyone else has in the comparison towards everyone else that's when we start over consuming and overeating and over believe me i know all about all of these things it and it, it's 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 some people you can't you don't blame it on gen it's not genetics it's not it's a vicious circle sometimes. Sometimes people do have these health issues that make them a certain way, but it's because of the stuff they're eating. It's, it's, it is a vicious circle. You really can fix everything with good food. Even, I don't know, even you're binging. Binge on, there's the, you can binge on tea when you're but maybe, maybe we should be feeling more guilty about our overconsumption. No matter what it is, no matter if it's buying clothes or makeup or whatever everybody else is, we're watching. I am learning this. Take it from an old man. Look at me. I look. I, I've aged twenty years in one month. We'll do it. We're going to do a video on that. I, I forgot that I was going to start this video a little more sympathetic. I'm I'm there now. I shouldn't have been so rude. I realize that the majority of the people watching my video with this video will be overweight. The audience that I want is is probably like the people who I want to watch me. My, my demographic would be overweight. 35 plus that's those are the people who I want to talk to that I'm interested in entertaining I don't I can't I'm, I just want everyone to get off my lawn all of the other kids I like that social media is expanding I like that old people are using it I don't know what tangent I'm going on now Think about your overconsumption, though. You, you you should feel guilty, and people should people should be allowed to shame you for it. I mean, that's not going to help the problem. I realize shaming people does not make it better and does not make it go away. But maybe guilt maybe guilt would guilt can stop me from buying more plastic buying more packaged goods and you do the best you can like i know all about that the the financial position that i'm in i i i sometimes i have to make a choice but that doesn't mean um junk food is not cheaper actually i do know that potatoes are cheaper uh, a bag of apples can be cheaper like you can buy a whole bag of apples for the cost of a fast food meal and you're getting a lot more food all right that's my preaching today i love you i'm sorry if i offended you but think about your consumption and maybe you should feel guilty and maybe should it should be okay for people to shame you How do I turn this off?